Live from New York, it's the show that's choreographing Usher's halftime performance. Not really choreographing, to be honest with you. I wasn't working on the dances no. per se, but I was going through the whole catalog. Trying to figure out the oh. sevens. Wilds lost so answer. much money betting on the Patriots this year. He's going to have to win it back on betting on the first song by <laughs> for Usher. I like the DJ song. Oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to let y'all know I'm about it. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, I played this game yeah. Yeah. I broke my collar way back in the day. Yeah. That's yeah. what he was I saying. I broke my fibula. Uh, who would a loss be more heartbreaking for, the 49ers or the Chiefs? I'm really curious where Bruce is going to land on this. I think it's unequivocal and it's San Francisco. They've been banging on the door for years. More on that in a moment. They've been favored in every game they have played this season. They have baby Drew Brees at quarterback, I've been told. They are the favorites in this game. And the window at some point does close. Wilds, what am I? A non-playable character in Red, <laughs> Den- Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> like a bartender. <laughs> the way you uh, asked that was crazy. Uh, what am I? What am I? A that sports historian is what I am. He wasn't going to say that. He never was going to say that. Well, okay. When I said, said no, that? that's what they call me, oh, but I okay. am okay. a sports historian. historian. It's literally <laughs> what I am. Brew is as well. So here's the reason I mentioned it. That was a great pull of <laughs> NBC on Red Dead Redemption. Uh, Vikings of the 70s, mm-hmm. Broncos of the 80s, yep. Bills of the 90s, mix in teams with this many conference championship games and didn't even make a Super Bowl, the Rams of the 70s and the Eagles of the 2000s. Those are the teams that have had this type of postseason success without breaking through. And only one team ever has had this type of postseason success without breaking through and then broke through. And that was John Madden's Raiders. Every other, every other one of those, you can say the Broncos did, did yeah, but they but didn't. Was, they changed coaches, right. and it was 10 years mm-hmm. later. Right. That team never broke through. And so those teams are considered some of the most tragic in NFL history. The Purple People Eater Vikings, the, the Rams with those amazing defenses. We talk yeah. about Elway. We think about him differently now than how we thought about him throughout oh, the yeah. first 15 years of his career. So – if the Niners don't do it now, when they're the Super Bowl favorite, when they've been favored all year, when they are healthy, I know they don't have Ofanga, but they haven't had him for two months. Yeah, they're, they're, they're as healthy as any team can be. This is not the type of loss you get over. So I would say for the Niners, without question, it's them. I totally agree. I totally agree. I thought you might say Chiefs, but I, look, the Chiefs, and I guess you thought they'd be here, but – they didn't have a good regular season. I mean, for them, it wasn't even good. It certainly wasn't great. For their standards, it probably wasn't even good. And I think the greater your regular season, the greater the disappointment if you don't get to the Super Bowl sure. and win it. Like, like, who's more – probably the most disappointed team right now is the Ravens. Because they yes. had such a great regular season, mm-hmm. even though Buffalo's disappointed no, it's, Miami, it's, it's the Ravens, right? Yes. So, so I think it's clearly the Niners and Detroit close because they they, had a gr- they, they because, because they were up they so were big. up That's so true. much they in the NFC so title game, um, and they had a great regular yeah. season too. But yeah, and look, Kyle Shanahan for him, I mean, he already has that tag of a guy that can't win the big game. All right. And it's happened not just in the Super Bowl when he was with Atlanta as the OC, up 28-3 on your Patriots, and then against the Chiefs when he's up 10. They they give up, what, 21 points in the last six minutes to lose that game. It also happened when the Rams won the Super Bowl. They were up 10 heading into the fourth quarter, 17-7. So if he loses this game, even though – I think even though – Oddly, the Niners are favorite. It seems like most pundits are picking the Chiefs. Even though a lot of people think the Chiefs should win, you don't bet against Mahomes, this will be a huge disappointment and continue that image or reputation for Kyle, for Kyle Shanahan. Oh. And, then, and, and also, Nick, like, they, they are a stacked team. Yes. And at some point, if, they, if Purdy eventually gets paid, like, you're not going to be able to have a team that's well, this that's- stacked. Going forward, that's what I think. So you, if you don't get it done now, win. Go ahead, Wilds. I'm sorry. The, I didn't want to have to do this this early in the show. Mm-hmm. I'm putting Kyle Shanahan on pumpkin alert. Okay. Pumpkin? 
Pumpkin alert. Okay, stop. Pumpkin adjacent. You don't think that'd be a steep drop? The, uh, I'm so saying. He might this. not be the genius everybody's oh, okay. saying. Oh, you think so? Oh. Well, I don't well, you know. can't be a genius if you can't win the big one. He's, he's really go. good. Oh, I'm just saying he's a pumpkin. Pump, 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 pumpkin alert, wow. where it's like the clock strikes midnight, it's pumpkin time. He's on what? pumpkin alert that he should be worried, and here's why. You just laid out three big games where he was up it's 10 funny. in the fourth quarter, and the game got away from him. The other horrible stat is when he's down seven or more entering into the fourth quarter, he's 1-31. Two so, or no? Yeah, what was no, two? he's no, right because he's, he's got one, one seven. Okay. Yeah. So he's yeah. one in thirty, one in thirty-one, I believe. Mm -hmm. So if he's up, he's going to be nervous. If he's down, he's going to be nervous. <laughs> so all of a sudden, it's very slim for him to be like totally locked in and him not being affected by past losses. No, and when you start to think about the past rather than the future or the present, guess mm -hmm. what? Pumpkin time. Okay, no, but that's that. I, I uh, pumpkin's too far, but you don't agree with like. <laughs> no matter what happens Sunday, Kyle Shanahan's one of the four best coaches in the NFL. At some point, but, it's gonna be okay, guys. Like, just like you, Andy Reid no, was always it, a great coach, but had, no, it was still no, like Kenny win the big I'm one. I'm glad you said Andy Reid. Do you guys actually think Andy Reid top four? Got wait a moment. Oh, Andy Reid got dramatically better at coaching. No, he just got Patrick Mahomes. Exactly. Okay, exactly. so when Kyle Shanahan, you the goat when Kyle Shanahan no, gets a Patrick Mahomes, no. we'll, we'll have a different conversation. Be because that, because the way Andrew people Brees. do coaching stuff <laughs> is <laughs> purely based on record, seasons, playoff appearances, Super Bowls, all of it. Because there's no there, there's no real eye test with coaches, right. right? And so the only eye test there is, in my opinion, is do you think they're overachieving? And this is where I think this is so wildly unfair. To, to Kyle Shanahan, he has gotten more out of, do we all agree at the very least, he got more out of the pre-Brock Purdy Niners than any coach could have? That, that, that They're getting Jimmy Garoppolo, who now, everyone has come over to my side of the argument after you were calling him a winner and you were putting he up the graphics. Winner, that, and that's all I fine. said is he, he was a good uh, quarterback. Uh -huh, right, but, but now you don't think he's a good quarterback He anymore. was good. The, not, not now, his body betrayed yeah, okay, that, But he, body he was a good quarterback. Okay, that's Because, Nick, let's not rewrite the, history. How well was Kyle Shanahan doing with the Niners before we go. Jimmy CJ G got, got there? their time. No, that – what do you mean? One they year? They were one in ten. Bro, it was just, it was one year and they're turning the roster over. And Jimmy G and, walks in okay, and automatically they don't want to argue games. about I'm Jimmy Garoppolo. <laughs> I, the point I am making is we are now punishing a guy for his own excellence. He is getting every one of these big games he has lost. He has been at a massive Disadvantage quarterback wise. Massive. But wait, what about but but Matt on, Ryan I, Brady? They were 28 they, 3. I, well, that's that was the, on the defense oh, no, won the offense. Nick, that, they scored how many points? They, they scored 28. They, they here's scored 31. The, here's where your argument, and we get it. He hasn't had a bunch of Hall of Fame quarterbacks. Fine. But if those quarterbacks are good enough to get you to the NFC title game or the Super Bowl and get you a lead with 10 minutes left. No. Okay, why can't they be good so, enough so to wait, finish it out? So I am not I am not arguing that he's a perfect coach. And I am but there is a level of every one of these games, he has been at a massive disadvantage at the quarterback. That's spot. by his own decision making. The, oh, that's his decision to to make the roster and start Brock Purdy. I, if he wanted to go out and sign a expensive veteran, he could have. No, but then he'd probably no, lose some they, talent around. They literally him. did that with Jimmy Garoppolo. I'm saying and very expensive. The, well, I guess he was Jimmy Garoppolo was the highest. He, he was he, he, and so I, again, I'm not saying he's perfect. But we are going to absolutely fet like the King of England coaches that have accomplished much less with better quarterbacks and certainly coaches that have accomplished the same with better quarterbacks. But because Kyle Shanahan has gotten his help get his team along with John Lynch's roster building to these big games where it has been Matt Ryan versus Tom Brady, Matt Ryan not, not the, the and he wasn't the head coach obviously. Jimmy Garoppolo versus Patrick Mahomes, Matt Stafford versus Jimmy Garoppolo, a zero-armed quarterback last year, so just throw that one out. And now Brock Purdy against Patrick Mahomes. But what do you want from him? Nick, we have seen teams with lesser quarterbacks win yes, the Super Bowl. Yes, I understand, We've but seen we it don't. Quite but, a bit. Hold on. 
Nick they, Foles beat Tom I, Brady. Agreed. But this is coming from the premise of Wild saying he's on well, pumpkin yeah, alert. I, he's 1-31, and, and he's down a, a, a five, touchdown five, yes. in going into the fourth yes, quarter. because you need Before great that, he was play to come back. If no, they not 1-31. Come on. Hold on. Wait a second. Well, Purdy, did, Purdy overcame. He's got Purdy. Uh, Purdy overcame Purdy it. Essentially but the, done the, the idea that, that he, that so he doesn't it? bear any response. This is what bothers me. And then we'll move on. I'm yeah. sorry to get so angry. I'm supposed to be the mayor of fair here. Yeah. Out here with these hot takes. Uh-huh. <laughs> this is what bothers me. When the success, when Brock Purdy wins the game, ah, Kyle Shanahan, what a genius. What a genius. You, this you, you this guy's it. out here making you magic out of nothing. Now. But when Kyle Shanahan, we put up the stat that he was 0-30 in the fourth quarter, it's like, what do you want him to do? He only had <laughs> no, Matt Ryan, the MVP, not, and he was the that, that is the thing, He was Nick. the MVP because of Kyle. Well, maybe. We have saw Matt Ryan. What? Hold on. His whole career. His whole career. What, the only time he looked like an MVP was with Kyle. And I am not acting like he's a perfect coach. But this is he lunacy. He was 0-30. But Nick, so, you, you down do have seven, to but, admit, if, guy, if the, your quarterbacks, as flawed as they may have been, yep. can get you to the levels that Kyle has been at, then why can't you carry yep, him I, out? And we I, see his play calling change, no. too. That's Late agreed, which is why he is not a perfect coach. But this is, to me, fo- a little bit of, I don't want to use Shaq because he was the best, but he's taking a, pl- a peak Russell Westbrook, mm-hmm. what do you, you okay. know what I mean, and being like, well, they're losing because he can't hit mid-range jump shots, as opposed to being like, they are, the one of the reasons they're in these big games is because of him. No, he's not perfect. And by the way, none of the coaches are. And he struggles with clock management to this day. He's fixed that a bit since Patrick got there. And Bill, the co- coach we all believe is the best coach ever, the whole league decided not to hire him. 32 teams decided this year oh, they'd rather have someone else really. than levels. Bill Belichick. It's just levels. I agree. The, Pumpkins are way too low level, but I didn't, genius is too high. If he alert. wins this game, if then you want to say the golden boy shine wears okay. off a bit. Yeah, that's All, what I'm saying. But that's not what you're saying. I'm saying he's on pumpkin you alert. said pumpkin alert. I said when the fourth quarter hits, if he's down, he should be worried. If he's up, he should be worried. Well, I that's agree how, because pumpkin you should time. be that's, terrified that's, at every moment of a game you're playing against Mahomes. But that's that was a good way to put it, Wiles. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. Trick or treat, pumpkin time. He's not going to be at a rest till it's over. That's what I'm and saying. Maybe they win. Yeah. Last Chiefs loss, Christmas Day in Arrowhead. Arrowhead. Mahomes pick six to Jack Jones, and Pacheco fumble six. Brew has not made his prediction yet. Tune in Friday at 3 o'clock for targeting. But Max Crosby remembered those turnovers, and he's ready to make his call. If the Chiefs don't turn the ball over, they're going to win. The 49ers have to make it as uncomfortable as they possibly can for Patrick from start to finish. That's the only chance. That's how you beat them. Brew, your reaction? Well, look, he's right. I mean... Patrick Mahomes is very good. I don't care what the stats say. He's good in avoiding the sacks and mm-hmm. avoiding pressure and all, and he can run and scramble and all that, extend plays, make a pass. But the best chance you have is to make him uncomfortable and get pressure. They have had four games this year. Not look, I get now citing the regular season feels a tad off because mm-hmm. they've been so much better in the playoffs. Yeah. But there were four games in the play in regular season where he got sacked three or more times. They went one and three. All right, the one game he's got sacked four times was this game against the Raiders, and they lost, obviously, and he, it was his worst game maybe of his career. You know, it was a terrible game for him. So I, I think that Bosa, Nick Bosa is going to be huge, and if they could get anything out of Chase Young, that'd be great. But I think they've got to put pressure on Mahomes to at least have a shot to make him make a mistake or a bad play. And I know this whole postseason he hasn't had a turnover-worthy play. Yeah. And so it's going to be tough, but that's the best shot they have. Yeah. It was always just the turnovers and only the turnovers. And when I was saying that in the regular season, you guys said it was cope. You guys said I was failing to see the obvious nature that no Super Bowl champion ever had done it without a great wide receiver three. You guys tried to tell me all (laughs) these reasons that the Chiefs were cooked. When the reality is we can show you their record this year in the last five years. Okay, so this year they've lost once. 
when they didn't lose the turnover battle and the one and that game the one turnover was a pick six the week one against Detroit last five years when Patrick si takes care of the ball they win more than 96 percent of the time so let's just go in my opinion the Chiefs have one loss all year that was not due to their own mistakes Green Bay Green Bay just beat them. And now that was also the game where the DPI could have been called at the end, but they were down eight. Even if it was called, they might have lost that game. Detroit week one, the pick six flipped the game, yeah, right? right. Mm -hmm. the, the next loss, Patrick Mahomes in Denver with the flu, five turnovers for the Kansas City Chiefs, and it's still a four-point game late into the fourth quarter. The, the next loss, Buffalo, they throw a pick on the first, or I'm sorry, Philly. Travis Kelsey fumbles inside the 10, and despite that, there's the MVS, the, yeah, the MVS drop at the very end. Mm -hmm. Buffalo, there's a pick on the very first drive of the game. Rasheed fumbles in the red zone and still had it with the Tony game. And Vegas, we just talked about it, a fumble six and a pick six in seven seconds. One time this year, a team has lined up and just been better. And it was Green Bay, which drastically changed oh Wild's God. thoughts on but the Packers. But sometimes teams but, make, I mean, but, yeah, there are the, forced turnovers and unforced turnovers. Correct. But... We could probably I, look at a lot of teams and say, hey, yeah. had they not thrown yeah. these two no. interceptions. Throw right. Mac Jones uh, agreed. But the reason the it matters more, in my opinion, for the Chiefs in this game is what has Patrick shown you the last two postseasons? Not throwing not it away. He can just stop turning the ball over if he stops taking chances and still be effective. So Max Crosby, maybe future Chief, maybe not. I don't know. I know the future Raiders have Chief. a lot. The Raiders got a lot of, you know, they got a thing to do. They might need to trade up, might need extra draft picks, try to go get a real quarterback. I don't know. I'm just saying he's making a lot of sense. Super Bowl winners all time. You win the turnover battle, you win 39 Super, uh, Super Bowls. You tie the turnover battle, 11 Super Bowls. And if you lose the turnover battle, it's seven. So, I think Patrick Mahomes may not have that. I think one of those lost the turnover battle but won the game is Mahomes against the Niners. Hmm. I think. Josh? We can check. Well, he that. had two interceptions. He had two picks. Josh Jimmy G had one with his eyes closed, and I don't think there were any other Josh ones. and I are still working on our nonverbal communication. Uh -huh. He just shook his head no, uh -huh. which either is I don't have that data right now or you're wrong. Okay. Stand by, Josh. Maybe I'm wrong. Go ahead. No, they, they tied, tied it. it. Okay, they tied it. Perfect. So Great job. Live TV. Job, <laughs> coming up next, uh, Super Bowl MVP odds. We're not actually coming up next, next, next topic. <laughs> Mahomes at one. Uh, Purdy is at two. Uh, McCaffrey's at three. Then Kelsey. And then Debo. Uh, Brew, which 49er is most likely to win Super Bowl MVP? I mean, you could say Purdy just because he's quarterback. I'm going to go McCaffrey. Oh, my God. What? That's a fair one. Yeah. The Okay, go ahead, bro. Haven't I said all year McCaffrey's a better running back than Purdy is a quarterback? Go ahead, bro. Yeah. Haven't I said yeah. that? I can't believe number one. And now, Purdy can ball, five, yeah. but here's my reason. You, you know I've been grinding. I mean, I've been here. I was here hours before y'all. And later. It was still dark when I yeah. was here. Well, I, when I, when left, I left, you were still here. Yeah. When I came in, you were grinding. still here. Did the odd couple from here. Just yeah. so he could keep <laughs> Seven to ten. What I have seen, I mean, this, this I knew this before, but still. A, re, a, the, a key for the Niners is going to be they're going to have to be able to run the ball against the Chiefs. All right, so McCaffrey, look, in the playoffs, McCaffrey's got four touchdowns. And so if they can't run the ball against the Chiefs, it's going to be hard to beat them. And so I think that's going to – and the Chiefs were middling against the run I in the regular season. This. Buffalo obviously ran all over them in the playoffs. So the Niners got to get their run game going okay. and McCaffrey out. That is, is the that. right answer. Yeah. Excellent. You're not allowed to have that opinion. Why not? Right. He's out here grinding. Because I can't say Brock Purdy can ball, no. yeah. but Christian McCaffrey might be the MVP. Wilds, who's right. the last totally Who's the can. last running back to win Super Bowl MVP? Stand by. Terrell Davis in 1996. Who was, was the last receiver that to before Cooper Cup? Last, so the second to last receiver, Julian Edelman. I don't know. They, they, sit, sit, Julian Edelman, Hall of Famer. The Julian Niners Edelman's run. Wait, the Niners have one of the best run games since, in the league since the last run. And back. they, McCaff, Purdy hasn't even didn't even throw the ball as much as Lamar Jackson this season since the last so running, running back team. won a Super Bowl MVP. We have had quarterbacks win it. Mm -hmm. We have had four receivers, five defensive players. It might be five four the other way around. The, uh, this is where this is why I get frustrated with the Purdy discourse because even the most ardent supporters don't really believe in him. 
Well, because in order for his running back, no, his, his all-pro running back might get the MVP bro, bro, is not believing bro, in it. Right. Yes, say, yes. Saying that you not the saying that saying you Julian think Edelman was going to be the Hall MVP famer. is yes. saying that no. Brady. Yes. You don't believe in if, Brady. If going no, if going into the game, you think it is more likely. For the, the Niners' best path to win is Christian McCaffrey. Well, that's their MVP. Yeah, yeah their best yeah. path is to run the football. Okay. All right. Well, then who's been their MVP in the playoffs? But the, who was their MVP of the regular season? It's arguable. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, who was MVP in the this playoffs? Drew, all who's year the MVP long in the playoffs? We had this argument, and you've been pimping Purdy. I said Purdy. First, I ain't pimping him. Okay. But sorry. I said like, Purdy promoted. was. The, I said Purdy was their MVP. And then when he had the bad game against Baltimore, I stopped saying he was the MVP. No, it, that was of the league. I'm talking about for the Niners. For the Niners. They Quarterback touches the ball every play. Quarterbacks, Kittle's not getting receptions. Exactly. Debo so without, say Purdy But here. Young, they have to run the football. Why can't they trust young Drew Brees? They can trust him. Okay. Oh, they got to trust him. Okay. Did they trust him against Detroit? Yes. Well, down in the second half? Yeah. Did they, no, did they no. trust him against Green Bay? So, no. say Purdy. No. Even in those, why? No, he, they got a good squad. I could have said uh, Fred Warner. Guess what my Would answer Would that is. mean I don't believe in Purdy? Come What's on. your answer? My Fred answer was Warner. Fred Warner. You guys are such frauds. No. Everything's not like it. Like, there's a nuance to things. You're I out here looking nuance. for narratives. He was here until midnight Thank last you. night. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. I spent the night here. I didn't want to say that. I didn't want to brag. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.